Sisters, my name is Abia L. I'm with the Israel United in Christ Church. You can check out the website at www.israelunite.org. Also, you can go to all the YouTube pages we got out there. Uh, Nathaniel Seven, just type that into a search for his name, Nathaniel Seven. You can check out that web page with uh, Brother Barack Shar and Brother Nathaniel. You can also go to As It Is Written. That's all one word. As it is written, do a search on YouTube and you'll find uh, me and Kanai's page. Also, the brothers, um, Lambs of Christ. And you can also go to uh, Young Lions of Israel. Lots of, lots of knowledge out here for you brothers to check out, alright? Today's topic that I wanted to go over is dealing with who we are. Who are the Israelites? And where are the Israelites, alright? So we're going to get right into it, alright? It's a lot, of, um, a lot of nonsense out here, brothers and sisters. And I pray that you all are able to take this in. Because regardless if you believe it or not, it's the truth. Matter of fact, I want to read that real quick. Romans, third chapter. Romans chapter 3, and we're going to start at verse 3. It says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. So, what if some don't believe this truth? What if some don't believe that the so-called Negroes, Haitians, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, West Indians, uh, Native American Indians, what if some don't believe that they're the Israelites? Shall their unbelief, um, let me read it verbatim, shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written. That thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. This is why we out here. And it's not for anybody to, to, to get all upset about and all oh, you brothers is preaching this and that. No, we teaching the truth. Thus saith the Lord, as it is written. Whether they're going to understand it or whether they're not. It's not going to have any effect on the Bible. Alright? So let's get into it. This is Deuteronomy. The 28th chapter. We're going to start at the first verse. Now I'm going to bring everybody up to speed just in case you all aren't familiar with, you know, the history of, of what took place. But this is after Moses brought the children of Israel out of Egypt. Well, when the Most High brought the children of Israel out of Egypt by Moses' hand, right? And whenever they got um, to Mount Sinai, this is when the laws was given and... This is Moses telling the Israelites what was going to happen if they kept the commandments, what was going to happen if they did not keep the commandments. So let's see what Moses told them. Let's see what the Most High told them. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass that thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So here it is. The Most High is telling Moses. He's saying, if the Israelites do right, 
If the Israelites keep my words, keep my commandments, my statutes, and my judgments, he's going to set us on high above all nations of the earth. So that whole thing that uh, everyone's equal and it doesn't matter what your nation is, is a lie. Thus saith the Lord. He says that if we were going to keep these commandments, he was going to set us on above, high above all nations. Not a couple, not a few, not the majority, all nations of the earth. All right? Now let's see what the flip side is. He says, this is what we get if we keep the commandments. Well, let's see what the, the opposing side is. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, whoa, wait a minute. Here it is the Most High telling Moses, the Israelites do not keep my commandments. All these curses are going to come upon them and overtake them. You out there at home, when you get a chance, read this for yourself. Read Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, the whole chapter. Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 through 14 are all the blessings that you would receive, the Israelites would receive, if they kept the commandments of the Most High. Deuteronomy 15 through 68 are all the curses that they would receive for not keeping the commandments. All right? So let's see what, uh, what, what curses the Israelites would receive. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. It says, Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. So now, cursed shalt thou be in the city, cursed shalt thou be in the field. What is this talking about? The Most High is letting you know, no matter where you Israelites go, you're going to be cursed. Whether you're in the city, dwelling amongst the city, or whether you're in the field. Meaning you're going to be cursed no matter wherever your foot takes place. Cursed in the city and your businesses. Just like it says, cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed in the field, you're going to be out there picking cotton. Getting your, your, your fingers pricked by thorns. Cursed were you going to be in the city and cursed were you going to be in the field. Watch this. Deuteronomy the 28th chapter and we're going to jump. And again, read this whole chapter for yourself so you can get the full understanding of everything that's taking place. The Most High is very, very specific when he's speaking about these curses. And these curses only fit one people. Alright? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28. We're going to start at verse 28. It says, The Lord shall smite thee with madness, and blindness, and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save thee.